Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to another episode of using PowerPC. Today we're going to be talking about YouTube, today we're going to be, I'm, well, I'm going to show you three ways, four kind of, um, four ways of running a YouTube video on your PowerPC Mac. Um, I've got in the browser, so nothing fancy, just in the browser watching a YouTube video as you would on any other computer. I've got Mac Tubes. I've got UView, and then I've got MacTubes Enabler, and possibly um, VLC as well, which I'll show you at the end. But first off, this is a 1.67 gigahertz 15-inch um, PowerBook G4. Uh, bench is around 950 to 1,000 in Geekbench, so it's a pretty nicely specced uh, PowerPC laptop. I, I wouldn't recommend going much lower than this if, you, if you're in the market for one as it stands right now. But, um, yeah, so it's it's a pretty sort of run-of-the-mill PowerPC laptop, what you'd expect to buy um, in this day. And it, it, I use it every single day. It's absolutely perfect for my needs. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up a standard web page. We're going we're to use the same video each time. This is in th th 360p, so the standard sort of resolution for a little in-browser thing. And we'll see how it runs after the advert. Few people think about what's inside their devices and how they As you can see already in the advert. There are minerals and up there you can see the CPU graph. That'll load. And you can see I'm not sure if there's anybody any people out there who watch You can see it it runs. It does run. But you can see the CPU meter is pretty much maxed out and it isn't a consistent frame rate. Um, this is only on 360p. If you want to knock it up to what most people would want to watch a YouTube video now at 720p, you'll see I've just clicked that button and it's, it takes a while to do it. But it, it it's watchable. Um, and 10 for Fox is um, a lot better on, uh, on, on Flash sort of resource. Um, usage than, than a WebKit browser like what I'm using. I'm using WebKit. Um, WebKit Leopard at the moment. So it runs. This is in HD now and you can see it's just totally bonked it. <laughs> so it's watchable in 360p. You just have to um, sort of be very very patient with it and not not sort of worry about the inconsistent frame rates. It By, by watching it in the browser you get that sort of first party experience. You can get, get Easy access to channels, comments, it's completely stopped now. Um, channels, comments, subscriptions, stuff like that without any hassle whatsoever. So, watching in browser, it's doable, especially on something like a G5, but this is a G4. G, G3s are, are basically out, out of the question, uh, full stop. But this G4 can play it in the browser just about. Um, but YouTube are constantly sort of updating their YouTube player and it gets more and more resource heavy. So for how much longer, I, I don't know. Um, so the next thing I want to uh, go on to now is MacTubes. Now MacTubes is pretty much the standard in PowerPC land for um, watching YouTube videos. You can search anything if I search for the same uh, video again. Um, what MacTubes allows you to do is play the video instead of in the Flash Player. You can play in the Flash Player if you want. You can see up here, um, QuickTime Player, Flash Player. Now you'll want to click on QuickTime Player because then it plays it basically in what you'd play a standard video offline in. Which is a lot, lot lighter on resources and allows you to pretty much play, um, play any video without a hiccup. Um, you can play HD if you want on a G5, that, that's probably more appealing, but I'll just leave it on, on standard definition here. Um, if we double click on that now, it'll open that up, and we'll be able to see, you can see that full screen. It's not HD, you can knock it up to HD, you can knock the quality up, but it does run, and it runs flawlessly. There's, there's not a hiccup in the frame rate anywhere, and that is a much, much more... Uh, pleasant experience than if you were to watch it in the browser in in WebKit or even Tenderfox. Um, MacTubes doesn't allow you though access to channels, comments, and uh, subscriptions. So um, I, mean, I know a lot of people have subscriptions. You you subscribe to someone so you can get you can get up to date with all their videos, and MacTubes doesn't allow you to do this. 
So that is a massive drawback for me personally, and that's why I went out looking for the next thing I'm going to show you, um, you view. But first, I'm going to open up 10 for Fox, and this is a massive thing now. MacTubes natively doesn't allow you to um, have access to subscriptions and stuff, but this is a, a great little workaround that not many people know of, um, as of yet, anyway. So you can go to um, YouTube.com, as you would in the browser anywhere. Um, if, if you're in WebKit and you're watching it in WebKit, absolutely fine. 10 for, 10 for Fox, you can get to block all plugins, so it's a lot, lot quicker. It's, um, well, you can do that in WebKit, but 10 for Fox does it by default. Um, you, you can go onto the onto the web page, you can search your description, subscriptions, click onto a video you want to, then right-click on that page. Oops. Accidentally went back a page then. You can right-click on anywhere on that page, and you can see there, Open YouTube movie in Mac tubes or open YouTube movie in Mac cube Mac tubes and close tab so what this does you click on that it closes the tab in Tentafox, opens up Mac tubes and begins playing that video in Mac tubes so that is an absolute godsend for people who um want to use Mac tubes over anything else but still want access to subscriptions and channels and comments and etc it, it's a great workaround and it, it was developed by the guy who did um 10 for Fox, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but um, I'll, I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen now. So yeah, MacTubes on its own doesn't allow, allow subscriptions and comments and stuff, but with that MacTubes enabler, as long as you're using 10 for Fox, then you can get access to all of them and still have a smooth uh, YouTube video watching experience. Okay, so the next thing I want to go on to is UView. Um, UView is a very similar program to, uh, to a MacTubes, but it allows you access to subscriptions as you can see there if i log out and then i'll back in again you can double click on that or obviously to put your, your google plus information in but then you get access to your subscriptions your videos your playlists all of that sort of stuff which is absolutely awesome and it allows you to um it, it gives you access to um comments as well if you go into view comments it's a little bit primitive but you can view them and then you can post comments as well as you can see there and it does work um, if I go into preferences, you can you can knock the quality up all the way to 4K if you want to. But I play in 480p, which is a higher resolution than Mac tubes, I believe. I believe Mac tubes plays in 360p. Um, I could be wrong there, actually. Uh, don't quote me on that. But yeah, this is my personal favorite. I use U U View over over Mac tubes simply because of the the subscriptions. I rely on my subscriptions a lot to to, to get a constant feed in without having to fiddle in and, and app hop in. But as you can see, it opens up. Nice little player here. And again, it runs absolutely flawlessly. Not not, not an issue anyway. Um, so yeah, that, that's UView. It doesn't allow uh, access to downloading without a donation. Now, that is where MacTubes gets, um, gets the one up here. UView, you have to donate $1.99 in order to access um, exporting videos and downloads. MacTubes, you can do that just anyway um so if you do value offline offline viewing and stuff in, in vlc or whatever then mac tubes is definitely the way to go but if if you are just going to be watching online then and and you do want to post comments and see your subscriptions without having to go from mac tubes into the browser and then back into mac tubes and then back into the browser then then you view is definitely definitely the way to go Okay, so the penultimate thing I want to show you today is um, VLC. Now, this is not necessarily helpful to people with a PowerBook, but for someone with like a dual dual 1.42 MDD or or a higher spec G5, then sorry, I'm losing my voice now. Um, this is ham helpful. You go into the browser, um, search for whatever video you want to find, click on the video, um, copy the URL, then open a new network stream in VLC, paste the link press open and it will open that video in the highest resolution possible this is handy for someone say with a g5 who wants to watch youtube videos in, in 720p but it can't the g5 can't handle it under flash now obviously this is in 720p here my power book is is a little bit labored under 720p which is why i recommend if, if you're on a g3 or a g4 um go in the mac tubes or the uv route so yeah, that's VLC, and one very last thing I can't show you because I've got conflicting um, mods installed on 10 for Fox, such as the, the 
flash blocker and the HTML5 blocker, etc. Um, it's called Smart Video. Now, some of you may or may not have heard of this. It's not very well known at all. Um, but it basically, it's, it's an add-on for Firefox, so it'll work in Aurora Fox, Tampa Fox, any, any of those sort of Firefox-based um, PowerPC browsers. Um, it adds a little bar to the bottom of the YouTube uh, player, and you can you can go into preferences and change the settings. Um, so you can force the YouTube player to play in whatever quality you want to run it in. So, for example, say I'm struggling at 480p in the browser in Flash, I can tell Smart Video to play all YouTube videos in the browser at 240p, so I'm guaranteed a consistent frame rate. This is handy for someone who doesn't want to delve into UView or MacTubes, but wants, still wants to watch YouTube videos in the browser and not have a choppy frame rate. Um, you do have to sacrifice video quality, obviously. You have to, for most people, you have to bump it down to 240p or 360p. But it's good for someone with, say, a G5 again, who um, who is watching videos in the browser, is a little bit laboured by it, is maybe... YouTube is telling it to go into 1080p because YouTube likes to be a dick sometimes and that this basically automatically tells it to, to down clock to 360p or, or 480p so it's handy for those kind of people not many people know about it um, I'll, again I'll leave a link to all of these programs in the description uh, MacTubes Enabler, MacTubes UView, uh, VLC and Smart Video so yeah that's YouTube on PowerPC guys I hope this video has been beneficial to you um, if it has, please leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe for more uh, PowerPC related videos. So um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you around.